Okay, but before, before we go there, you know, and and I and I really want to go deep in the polygynous lifestyle. Uh, okay. But what were your other awakenings, for lack of a better way to put it? You on a spiritual journey? No, that's was right. it was it only that that I should be with multiple women, or did other things come out of it? No. Yeah, no. So originally, um, I'll just be honest. So originally. When I was in like middle school, I started having this consciousness where I would see patterns in the design of life. So I started noticing how uh, eating different fruits and vegetables and different things was affecting my body and affecting my mind state. And so uh, and I would see patterns just like with uh, kind of like people call the universe sending you signs. So long story short, uh, I want to go into detail. But when I was in middle school, I saved a kid out of a lake from drowning out of a frozen lake. So, but the only reason I was able to save the kid out the lake is because I was following signs. So this for me was the initial moment that, wait up, this is real. The signs, like the signs that I'm seeing is realer than the reality I was mm. living in because it aligned, it aligned me to save someone's life. And I only was there because I was following signs. So when that happened to me in middle school, I totally was like, okay, um, I'm paying attention to these spiritual signs. I'm not going to uh, live a regular life. I'm not a regular guy no more. People were telling me, even when I told people what happened, they would laugh. You know, they would laugh. And I go, I saw this, then I saw that. And then I was thinking this and I kept going and people would laugh, you know, but I wouldn't laugh. It wasn't funny to me. To me, it was, it was like I was on to something, you know. And so fast forward, by the time I'm graduating high school, I'm like, yo, you know, you know, to be honest, I was like, yo, I might be God himself. You know, I, I don't think like that anymore, you know, but to be honest, my ego was big at that time. I was like, yo, I'm seeing so many signs and the way my life is going and no one's really listening to me. I'm like, yo, am I, did I put, am I God himself and placed himself in the game and wanted to see what I wake up and, and see the, the fabric of the life I was living, you know, of the whole universe. This is where my mind was back then. And uh, as I grew, I learned to uh, I learned about a creator higher than me, of course. You know, I don't think like that anymore. That was very egotistical. But uh, but, yeah, I think I had a lot of confidence uh, back then. And, and I just felt like I was on a whole nother wave, King, to be honest, you know, you know, and I was saving lives. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, again, um, you know, th this path that you found yourself on and this self-awareness. It, it, it's, it's very different than most folks. And you're talking about junior high school, paying attention to signs. Um, you, you're talking mm -hmm. about a high school really mm -hmm. coming to, to a place where you're like, everybody around me doesn't see what I see. Am I the creator mm -hmm. himself? That is, that is very mm -hmm. egotistical. It's very bold. <laughs> but even to go there, you have a, a, a sense of awareness that most people don't have, especially at that young age. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.